all right everybody welcome to your fourth C++ tutorial in which we'll be talking about arithmetic operations on C++ now arithmetic operations as you might think are just simply adding numbers subtracting numbers multiplying numbers dividing numbers and so on so let me quickly show you a simple example let's say I have a variable a and I set it equal to 10 and yes I guess I forgot to tell you that you could declare a variable and initialize a variable in one single line you don't need to do it like int a and then a equals to 10 this would just work perfectly okay so the next thing we have is a b variable with 20 now I will see out a plus b and what it would give me as output is 30 as expected because 10 plus 20 equals 30 now let's say I want a minus b now I guess what will happen is I'll get minus 10 which is true and since it is an integer data type it could store negative values as well so we would be talking about only positive value data type soon but for now let's just talk about integers now let's say I do see out a star b and I run the program you see we get 200 which is correct and see out a by b what is your guess what will we get when we do a by b now traditionally what we should get is 0 0.5 but from the last tutorial if you remember I told you guys that in C++ the integer data type would just extract out the integer type and throw away the decimal part so what we will get is this let's test it out so you see that we got 0 which is essentially not true because a by b is not technically 0 and to fix that what I told you guys is to change the data type to float but we have another cleaner way to do that and that is called typecasting which we would be discussing in some future tutorial but not right now now one thing I need to talk to you about guys is we have one more operator in C++ and C which is not a kind of mathematical operator but is very useful and that is the mod now this percentage symbol over the key 5 on your keyboard on PCs would actually give you the remainder when a number right here here would be divided by a number here and what I mean is that if I do B mod A we read it as B mod A now this means that whenever B that is 20 is divided by 10 whatever is the remainder store it inside C so if I do in C right here C out the C then obviously we would get 0 as output because when 20 is divided by 10 the quotient is 2 and the remainder is 0 but let's just change it to 21 now what are your guesses what would be the output the output would be 1 the reason is that when 21 is divided by 10 we get 20 um, as the part inside the divisor which we subtract from 21 and that leaves us with 1 which is the remainder so the modulus is kind of special thing in programming languages and it is very often used in um, your real life projects as well and in competitive programming as well so you should just know about that so that's it for this tutorial about arithmetic operations and we'll be doing a lot more in the future tutorials so till then stay tuned with me don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then